This video describes the Merlin leak test, typically performed each morning uh, before use or if you have a problem with Merlin and wish to check its leak function. Turn Merlin on using the switch at the back and for reference the software version number will appear on the screen as it starts. You will not need this number for this procedure. Set the controls in the following manner. Set the inspiratory time fully clockwise to PL. Flow fully anticlockwise to 0.1. Expiratory time fully clockwise to 9. Set maximum working pressure limit right round to 57. Assist mode right round to 10. Then connect the tube from to patient to from patient and have nothing else connected to gas in or gas out. Then set the run switch to on to start Merlin moving. If you look inside you'll see the piston start to turn very slowly. Also you'll see the inspiratory bar graph and expiratory bar graph rise in value and on the screen you'll see the airway pressure increasing as the pressure increases. We are now waiting for the airway pressure shown by the bar graph to reach the 57 that we've set and this will be shown by the value on the screen. Once the bar graph gets to the top it will stop but the pressure will continue to rise as indicated by the value on the screen. This value is shown as AP equals and we're wait, waiting for it to get to a value of 57. 57 centimetres represents the highest pressure that Merlin will see and a flow rate of 0.1 litres per minute is only 1.5 mils per second. So this will pick up even the tiniest leaks inside Merlin. Keep an eye on the LEDs at the top of the inspiratory and expiratory bar graph. Watch how they drop when Merlin reaches pressure. The tidal volume that has been displaced will be shown at the top of the screen. Merlin will then wait 9 seconds as set by the expiratory time before the bar graph start to rise in value again. Depending on the size of the tubing used for your link, uh, expect a volume displaced of between 50 and 100 or 150 mils. Repeat this procedure 3 or 4 times and check that you get consistent values for the di displaced tidal volume. If there are any leaks within Merlin, the pressure of 57 centimeters will never be reached. If this happens, contact your supplier or distributor for help in solving the internal Merlin leak. 